This is Ian Lamont. I've been a publisher on Amazon for more than 10 years using Amazon KDP and Amazon Advantage. Today I'm going to show you how to set up A plus content in Amazon KDP. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me. Let's get started. So what we're looking at here is the A plus content manager in KDP, Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. And so this manages the A plus content for my hardcover books, paperback books, and of course, Kindle editions as well. To get to this particular page, you go to bookshelf, then you find the book that you're going to be changing the A plus content for or adding the A plus content to, and it's this one right here. Then take one of the editions of the book. I have three editions of this book. Click the three dots icon, more actions icon, and then select promote and advertise. You'll come down to A plus content. And basically what you want to do is select a marketplace. In my case, it would be US, so that's amazon.com, and then manage A plus content and then you'll see this page. I'm gonna be clicking this button, start creating A plus content in a moment, but first I wanna show you one thing. One thing that you need to understand, of course, is what is A plus content? This is a book that we published earlier, Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes, and you can see the description up there. When you scroll down, there's a section that says from the publisher, and then there's these text and pictures located on the page. A lot of this is stock photography or pictures from the book. There's also a comparison chart. I want to do the same thing for this book. This is Social Security in, Vo in 30 Minutes, Volume 1 by Emily Pogue. It's the second edition. And I want to add A-plus content here. There's none currently, so I'm going to add that. And basically, by having A-plus content, it helps the page convert well because readers or browsers can see what the book is about. And maybe there's more context or other information that will help convince them to purchase the book. So let's go back to the A plus content manager, start creating A plus content. And what you need to do first is add a name for what you're doing. So I'm going to add social security uh, V1 E2, volume one, second edition, then A plus. So when I see this, I'll know exactly what we're talking about. And the way that Amazon organizes A plus content, it's by module. Module is basically like a row of content. On this particular one, this is a module. This comparison chart is a module. This is also a module, the image on the right and the text on the left. So I'm gonna add a module. You'll see all these different options. And if you're wondering, whoa, there's so many different things here. Should I do them all or should I, what, what should I, which one should I use? My answer is use the ones that allow you to put images in them and don't use too much text. The reason is, is because you already have a space to have your description, which has a lot of text. People, if they wanna read reviews, of course, most of those are text as well. But images can really help tell the story, can really draw people in. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be selecting this one, standard image and light text overlay to go at the top. Now, the way that you can do this is you can add an image that already has text on it, or you can add an image and then add text to it using this little optional um, text text field, text editor. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a background image. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. All of your assets should be prepared in advance. This is not something where you're kind of doing it on the fly. So I've already prepared a whole bunch of different images that meet Amazon standards for uploading an image. For instance, it says right here, add image 970 pixels by 300 pixels minimum. So it has to be at least these dimensions to upload it. If it's if, it's a more, if you have 970 pixels wide and like 500 tall, basically Amazon will try to put it on the page, but in some views it may not be visible. So I already have a couple images that I wanna use. This one already has text built into it. So I'm gonna use that one. I'm just gonna drag it over. And then I'm going to move it down because I wanna make sure that this shows up. I think that the other parts of it will show up too, including her face when it appears on the page but I just wanna make sure that the text is there for sure. And then image keywords, I do recommend using that. And this book is about retirement benefits, so I'm gonna say that. Retirement benefits, okay, and add. I'm gonna leave these two blank because they're optional and basically because I already have text here, I'm gonna be okay. Next, add another module. So another module that I want to add is kind of like an image on the left and then some text on the right. So let's see if we can find that. Standard single left image. Okay, it says 300 by 300 pixels, but it can be much larger than that. And indeed, I have an image that is larger than that. And the reason why actually having a bigger image is better is because some people are using big screens, 
Some people like to zoom in. Maybe Amazon will start showing this content on other types of devices where a big image would be better. So I think don't just do the minimum, try to do even more than that. So let's see here. This image, this is an AI generated image navigating survivor benefits with confidence. I think I'm gonna use that one and just drop it in there. And then type survivor benefits. Okay. All right, headline, enter text. So I do have text assets already prepared. I have two, I have actually two different documents that have assets. One is the metadata for the book. It's in a simple text pad. I know that some people use spreadsheets, but I prefer to do it this way. And then these are basically AI generated marketing assets that I used, I generated on another platform and I can use them for this one too. So uh, Shimmer AI text assets for volume one, a comprehensive guide to mastering social security benefits. I think that's pretty good. So let's use that for the headline. And then body text. So if you, have already, if you already have marketing copy, that's fine. Um, I actually might use some of these bullets that I have here. Okay. So I can just paste those right in and then I'm going to use the bullet maker to bullet them and bold them too. So these aren't too long. I don't like having too much text. All right, we're good. Add another module. Yeah, why not? Uh, let's see, should we add a comparison chart or something else? Why don't we just start with the comparison chart? I think that's good. Now, the comparison chart is not ideal in some ways. First of all, they're showing you five different books to add here, but you can actually have a minimum of two. It says so right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have volume one here and volume two here. I'll need the ASIN for the book. The ASIN for a paperback book is actually the 10 digit ISBN. You can get that right on the detail page for the book, I'll show you. So for this particular book, if I scroll down, here's the 10 digit ASIN. Or if it's a Kindle book, you can just use the ASIN that Amazon provides. ASIN, by the way, stands for like Amazon single identification number or something like that. Title, so I'm gonna put the title of the book. As I said, I already have Text, a text file that has all that information. So I'm just gonna paste that right in. All right, click to add image, 150 by 300. That's kind of a weird dimension. So what I usually do, I used to basically create images that were exactly the right ratio, but it just it, that became too difficult after a while. So what I do now is I basically have some images that I use for other for my website and other purposes. I just basically drop the biggest one I have and just drop it right in there. And you can see Amazon automatically centers it. So the A plus tool automatically centers it. So I'm good with that. And then you have to use image keywords. So I'm gonna say social security volume one. Okay, and let's just add that. All right, now let's do the other book too. I think I have it here. Let's just copy, I know what it is. So I'm just gonna do a little Disability benefits, that's volume two. Just made a little edit there. And then I'm gonna add the image. So I have that, let's see how, it's right here. I think it is this one right here. Drop that in. Yep. And then social security V2, add, okay. I need the ASIN for this one as well. Let's see if I have that somewhere. I think I have, yeah, it's here. And here's the ISBN. Oh, sorry, I need the, yeah, that's the right ISBN 10. Drop that here. I'm also gonna highlight the column for volume one. So it's gonna show the reviews, show the prices, and show add the cart button. I'm actually not going to show the reviews. The reason why is because volume one has no reviews while volume two has 18 reviews. So I'd rather not highlight that difference because this is the book. This is volume one. This is the book that I want people to get. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And then I can add other metrics too. So a metric might be 
topics covered. It's not really a metric, but it's a way to classify text. So for volume one, I do have some text prepared for that. Uh, this is basically there's a 250 character maximum. So I used 160 characters right there. You can see the text, work credits, retirement benefits, COLA, early versus delayed retirement survivor benefits. It doesn't have to be complicated. And then for book for the uh, second book right here, I would do text and then paste in some text. Okay. If I wanted to, I could add another metric like a checkbox is like, for instance, you know, uh, pension benefits. I could just make that and then I could select a check mark or no check mark, but I think I'm good with what we have right here. And I think that's it. I hope that I'll prove it, but I think we're good here. That's that's three modules. I'm going to let's save it as draft actually. And then I'm going to apply ASINs. This means I'm going to take the ASINs for this particular book as well as the first edition of the book and make sure that this A plus content for volume one, second edition shows up for both books. So let's do the second edition of the book, which is, oh, wait a second. I don't want that. Okay. So for the second edition of the book, here is the ASIN I want to use. Let's search for it. Oh, wait, I have to search for the ASIN, sorry. It's this one right here, okay? Apply content. So that's the second edition, and now I'm gonna get the older edition, the first edition, and this is the, this is the uh, ASIN for that one. And apply content. So basically, both of these titles will have the content applied. Um, not, not both of the titles, both editions. So when people come to this particular web page, assuming that Amazon approves it, we'll see the content that I just uploaded to it somewhere around here. It'll be the pictures, it'll be the text, it'll be the comparison chart, and that's exactly what I want. So I'm going to next review and submit. It gives me a chance to review it. This review is garbage. It doesn't look good. If I click link to preview, it would just be a single page. It just stacks everything one on top of the other, but it gives you a basic idea of what's gonna be on the page. So that's, gonna, that's my A plus content. I'm gonna submit it for approval and it's gonna give you a message. Your changes have been saved. Uh, your content was successfully submitted for approval and I believe it takes up to seven days to get approved so we'll see what happens with that. But that's the ins and outs of adding A plus content. If this video helped, please take a moment to like it and follow me. If you go to leanmedia.org, that's my official website, click on blog and you'll see all of these videos and uh, blog posts that I have about A plus content, about selling on Amazon. I've been doing this a long time, not just for publishing, but also for selling on Amazon. And I have a lot of advice to share and I hope you can check it out. Thanks so much for watching.